Uh, John, a disappointing result today. Um, was it a case of they were better than us or were we just not playing too well? What, what's your opinion? Um, well, I was quite happy with the first half, to be honest with you. I mean, I thought we, 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 we had a bit of a game plan and we, we, we set out to play a certain way and we, we fulfilled that pretty much. We wasn't, other than the fact that we, we hadn't scored a goal, but we were, we were very much in the game. Um, for some reason, second half, we've, we've took our foot off the gas. Um, I blame myself for that, for that, probably, because I gave them a compliment in the changing room and said, you're doing OK, and that's obviously the wrong thing to do. You know, maybe they just need a bollocking all the time um, to, to keep them coming out fired up. I think we stood off them. They came out second half. Um, we stood off them. We gave them space to pass. We didn't engage them, we didn't make any contact with them, we played with no tempo, they got on top, they've got good players, you know, and you know what happens when you just stand off good players and you let them get their head up, they play forward passes, and they, they open you up, and that's exactly what happened, you know, and it was only, to be honest with you, it could have gone to three, wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been unreasonable if they'd have scored a third, you know, and then they took the foot off the gas and they let us back in the game. Um, and then we might have, we might have got a goal later on, but you know it, it's frustrating because everybody knows everybody in that changing room knows what's required, and it's very it's very frustrating when they don't just go out and do and know collectively what we need. Uh, one of the observations from the stand uh, from today's game was that we weren't passing the ball as much or as well as we did on Saturday against Altrincham. Uh, would you agree that you know we weren't stringing as many passes together? Yeah, yeah. I think I think it comes, it comes down to it comes down to quality of players, doesn't it? You, you know the teams won't let you just pass it. You know they will get you under pressure. They will try and pinch it. And we're playing against in a lot, a lot of a lot of games this season in particular against a lot of good teams, a lot of good players, and, and they read, they read, they, they stay organised for longer, and they they intercept and pinch it and. Uh, you know, we find ourselves giving the ball away cheaply at times, uh, and then what generally happens is the, the, you get done on the counter, you, you get stretched. Um, organisation is so important this long, you know, and, and being able to maintain your organisation for the full duration. And um, unfortunately, we're not able to get the calibre of player that we need to control games throughout you know and, and it's not we're not complaining about that but it is a fact you know and two of our very best players were on the field for them today and the reason they're getting a lot more money at Salford is because of good players you know and uh, we, we've got to try and find find more of that calibre uh, obviously Danny Hall came off with what looked like a, a bit of a like a calf strain or something. Hamstring. It was a hamstring, uh, kind of about maybe 35 minutes. Did, 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 that cha did that change the game at all? Or? Possibly, possibly. Um, Danny Hall's not match fit. You can see that when, when he, he was out there, he was a bit unsure of himself and he's not played for a while at this level. And it does take a bit of time and he's your confidence to, to build and what he's done, he got thrown in uh, into, uh, into, the, uh, um, into the pit, really and say off you go Danny, get up against them and uh, so it was tough for him but, but Danny Hall's got a tight hamstring and I think he's, he's come out rather than let it pull and uh, rather go on him so he might be okay for next week I'm not sure but it, it should be long. Obviously we've had a really tough game today against tough opposition, We our next two fixtures are also Harrogate away, filed away, the top two in the division doesn't get any easier. Um, I mean, what, what, what do we need to do, kind of going into them games? We've just got to keep believing in what we're doing. You know, we just it's just the same as what we were doing last year. You know, it's no, it's not particularly tougher. Possibly a little bit here and there, but, but generally speaking, um, we've got to go and just keep believing in what we're doing and keep keep passing the ball. We've got to tighten up. We've got to. We've got to find a way of, of stopping those goals going in the net. And we're not doing that well enough at all at the moment. We're not getting enough clean sheets, or, or even ones. Ones it would be a big improvement for me. For me. Um, so we, we, we've just got to. We've got to tweak the side. The side clearly isn't right all the time. We've got to tweak it. We've got to find the right balance, and uh, we've got to keep our heads down and work. Cool. 
Cześć, John. Dzięki. Dzięki.